All right, uh, we're going to talk about Surge Triticale now. Now, Surge is a fully facultative triticale, and what facultative means is it can either act like a winter triticale, be fall planted, overwinter, and grow in the spring, or it can be planted in the spring and does not need to vernalize and can go ahead and give its full growth potential. And what we're seeing here is a little bit of both because where we planted all this test plot, uh, the rest of this field around here is all spring triticale, uh, the surge spring triticale, but it was planted in October. And, and we'll look at that later. It's a, it's a beautiful looking crop. And so what we see is we have some volunteer and we didn't get all of it killed prior to planting this test plot. So the taller stuff here is surge triticale planted in October, and the shorter stuff here, and it's starting to head out, uh, is surge triticale planted in April. And there's a tremendous grazing advantage, forage advantage, if you can get it fall planted. But if you can't get it fall planted, uh, it's still significantly more growth here on this than when we looked at the A13 or, or the Albon, because this did not need to vernalize. Uh, so Dale, you've got examples of both there, I think. Yeah, there, the fall emerge, spring emerge. And, and so it's nice having flexibility, yeah. nice having options. And, and, and that spring planted stuff, it'll continue to get taller and it'll grow more and it'll probably eventually catch up to this. Although, uh, what the problem is gonna be with these spring crops, the longer they go into the summer, the hotter it gets, then they go through their life cycle faster and they end up being a shorter plant. So from a forage perspective, it's always better to plant a winter cereal or a facultative cereal in the fall uh, than to plant a spring cereal in the spring. Now, I will say this, uh, this surge triticale is not, does not have the best winter hardiness. So planting it in the fall is a little bit risky. It's not gonna be nearly as winter hardy as the A13 triticale and not nearly getting close to what cereal rye would be. But we had a pretty tough winter here and, and it survived and we'll look at that here in a little bit. Yeah. And, uh last week a uh, number of the participants were talking and they were from you know more arid regions they were talking very positively about just how tough spring triticale is compared to oats or the spring barley that they've used in the past so I think this is a real up-and-comer especially in the drier regions and, and it's also uh, what we call on leaded you can see that this is fully headed out and the ons on here are extremely short in fact you can't really see them um, so it wouldn't be truly beardless, uh, but it is what's called on leaded. So if you're grazing this, or you're gonna hay it after it's headed out, there's none of those beards uh, that could potentially be issues for grazing. Very, very soft. You don't get lump jaw out of this. 